Hello and welcome back to Alma Misery with me, Adam. So, I've connected up the tractor. And... I'm just going to fold that back up. I don't know why it was unfolded. For some reason, let me try another vehicle. That works. That works. That works. That doesn't work. Okay. So let me do this. There you go. Oh, see, I need to make that smaller by a lot. There you go, I can live with that, that's smaller. So, I've got the wheel connected up. What we're going to do is drive along here. I'm going to work on this small field at the end to start with. Just so I can get used to my tools. I'm just seeing if there's a. I think you know, I think it's this one. If I go open head with mouse deactivated, that's what I want. Right. So Let's change to that one, unfold it, change to the front, unfold that one, turn it on, turn it on. Now, I have never used this before. So this is going to be a learning curve even for me. And I know I'm going to miss a bit because it's a round field so... I will cut what I can and then go over it if I have to. It's a bit of a weird shaped field as well, to be fair, so... So we're doing alright here at the moment. So if it's nice and straight like this, it's easy. Just when you get to these corners. I've not got my pedal straight with my steering wheel. That was a bit funky. That's a bit better. That'll do. 
so we're not getting a bad yield out of this. What I'm planning on doing is cutting this, buying a baler, buying an auto stacker, because I've still got 930,000 left. I still need to put another shed somewhere. I don't know whether I'm going to wrap it yet or not. But we shall see. So yeah, this, all these fields are going to get cut. I'm going to do it crop by crop, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do, say like, all corn, all wheat, all barley, etc. All peas. I suppose if you go out a bit wider, it actually cuts the grass there. So, you wouldn't normally go this fast in mowing grass like this you'd be normally going like 3 or 4 miles an hour at the most you would not be going this fast I only know that because I've been doing it for the last few days We have a Apollo five four five, I think it is. That we've got here with a topper adapter or slasher adapter, depending on where you're from. going. Nice, we're getting there. Oh, wrong pedal. So I'm also going to need a wind rower as well. At some point. Let's spin this around here.
trying to get the end bits as much as I can. This hasn't taken that long to do it at all, which is good. I'll get rid of all that. Don't need the auto drive on the screen. I actually found some of the done in auto drive, so I haven't tried it out yet. So I'm trying to get all the cars cut in January, so. That gives me two days in February to cut, well not cut, but plow these fields. I need a cotton harvester at some point as well. So this field here, because it's only a small field, I might leave it as is. Ah, I wish I knew that. I could angle that in a bit. How's it looking? I've got a bit missed here and there. I'll do that off screen. But let me show you what I mean. So, if I do it on this field, and click on that, it's 3.5 acres. It's a nice small field. Um, that's five. That's 27, and that's that. That's basically 12. So, 
way as the entrance to the field. There it is, straight in front. Field. Ah. Take your time, take your time. What I might do is put on a uh, cruise control. Now I'm adjusting the head at the same time on the back mower. Oh, that feels steep. I do have to say, I love this map. Oh, can't increase control. There we go. So once I get going, I can just edge out the other mower at the back a bit. And then as I turn, I bring it in. Slowly working out this device. And then I'll bring it out again. really really well it's probably not the most efficient way of doing it it's a lot harder to use than say like your conventional butterfly mowers that you can put on the back but I'm trying to do something different compared to last season, uh, last episode, uh, season, whichever you want to call it, with the Huron County. That yeah, is a strong coffee. It's definitely working well. I need to get more in line with my steering. It's just like I feel like I'm not cutting all of it with a mower head. I 
that makes sense. I will have to come back over this and cut it again. Or just leave it. Let's get over a bit. Now where am I in terms of front? Okay, so if I put that out there a bit more. I can even go out a bit wider, like that. I'm basically, trying to get it in line with the wheel. So that when I do turn it might not miss as much. And usually when you're driving over stuff in a tractor, if you're driving over it, sometimes you just squash it down if you don't quite cut it. Like sometimes your blades are not spinning fast enough for the amount of grass you're cutting because it's thick. So it just rolls over the top of it. So. But this works. Obviously I needed to bring it in a bit more, like that. See, I could have it directly behind. I was too busy there watching where the back wire was. Yeah, so all this grass that I'm cutting right now is going for silage, maybe. And it's just going to be for animals. Obviously, I don't have those animals, so it's going to be sold. So I'll probably end up selling them to the local shop to help out the farmers in the area. So, with seasons on two days at the moment, I've slowed down the time quite a bit as well. What I'll do is, I, after every episode, I suppose, I'll just go home and sleep. And then that'll put me on to the next day, and then when I come back, I'll be on like January 2nd, etc. Um, That's the only way I want to, this is the way I'm looking at it at the moment, I have, I can speed up the time down the line, so like, I don't know, three or four times speed, I can change that any time, I can even go faster than that if I wanted to, just to get through the day. Trying to cut the 
these last little bits down here. It gets me straightened up as well. So if you're wondering what steering wheel I'm using, it's the True Force Xbox G923. Here in Australia it's actually cheaper to get one of these and it was the actual farm and simulator equipment bundle. But when I got this one they ironically hurry ironically started releasing farm and simulator wheels so it is what it is. I might still get the joystick down the line because it's all independent from each other. I just wanted pedals basically with clutch, brake and gas. Alright, I'm just gonna knock this up. See in real life if you're going 14 miles an hour in a field, it just wouldn't work because it'd be if it's not flat, like smooth, smooth flat, it's going to be a bumpy old, old ride. And because I live basically on the side of a mountain, you just can't do that. You've got to creep along because you could go in a dip and you could flip your tractor and all sorts. And you up and down banks and slopes all the time. I mean one slope earlier this week that I had to go down I had to actually have a spot. It was my first time going down it. I just I just had to have a spot in case I tip the tractor over. Cause although it's fun playing it on PC or Xbox or whatever console you're on. I quite enjoy doing it in real life as well. Would I have it as a job? I probably would. I'd love to have a go at it. It's definitely enjoyable. We do sing the reward afterwards. Nice cut grass. Especially here because I've only been here two years and the grass has been growing for like five or six and when you because I'm in Australia you're back up to the bush and you know you got grass that's like six foot high and you're just churning for it and hoping there's no trees in it or stumps etc oh I've missed a bit I've done all that so well Now I've worked out the controllers, it's a lot easier. So once you get to this stage where you just do lines, go out wide and come in, it's so much more enjoyable. I don't really have to adjust it. But yeah, so what do we have? We have a slasher post fitter. An adapter for the tractor in real life for trailers, front loader, pipe barrier, a ripper, shank, small stuff because it's only 135 acres. And we're not an actual farm as such, so. just basically for property maintenance but yeah I love it actually enjoy driving a tractor in real life it takes half the time doing it with a tractor than it does with a ride on lawnmower but I keep slamming that stuff on the on the wheel I do apologize because I'm like right on the wheel I'm wondering as well, are these um, at the back of this 
mower at the back. It's got two like panels that are hanging off each side for the swath pile. If I can adjust that to smaller piles. So, I'm also thinking as well, because I've got the luxury of having a nice decent steering wheel and pedals. Getting a manual tractor, because I think everything is like auto like this or shuttle shift, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have a look in a minute once I've done this bit. And I wouldn't mind. A bit like what I've done on Renabu with the Ford tractor. Having a dedicated mower tractor. Like, I can have it in manual, have it in like low range, high range, etc. as well. Now we should, if I just widen that a bit, be able to cut all of this. Beautiful. Job done. Now I'm just going to tidy this bit up. And I think that's it. So let's put the brakes on. Change to the vehicle, get rid of the camera. Um, I think if I do that one, do that one, fold it up, actually unfold that one. I want to jump out and have a look. Put that up. I don't know if I can. I can detach hoses. Let's just jump in the tractor a sec. There you go, now try it. It wasn't completely unfolded. Um. Ah, so I can use the K and M keys to turn that as well. But I can't adjust the swath. Now we're looking at controls for a work mode. X, Y, Z, B. And that one. Good to know. So let's jump across here. 
So tractors, this one, CVT variable, so it's a shuttle shift. That's a shuttle shift as well, CVT. My mowers are here. So I've got one that needs 90 and 65. So I don't need a great deal of horsepower. I'm going to need a front linkage. I can have reverse driving on this one. Second door or panorama? You might as well have panorama. Interior. Dark or light. Dark's all right. Fuel tank set up plastic. Stainless steel. Stainless steel, front loader attachment, I'll have the attachment on it so that I can use the other one. Okay, so that's 246,000. So I roughly need 170 horsepowers. That's 125, that's 50. See, if you have... Basically, if you take that, take the cab off, and just have like a canopy on the top, no doors, no window, that's basically what we got. Manual power shift, New Holland. Automatic. All right, where was it? Voltra. Voltra N series. Now, Okay, that one changes the stuff in the cab. So that's your standard engine. That's V... Uh, 165... Ah, this has got so many different varieties of engine. So that's a 201 horsepower shuttle shift. Let's go with that. So I can have the one with the screen. I'm one without. Oh, I don't know. I quite like that. I like all the levers. So then that looks tidy. Just 
does anything change at the front? Ah, that'll do. I'll stick with that one. Now I'm going to stick commercial tyres on it. And the reason is, in real life, if you had these ones on it, it would chew the grass up and the ground. So if you have something like this, it basically just rolls over it. Right, the roof. Sky view. Standard. We want a reverse driving. Yeah, why not? We have the window as a panorama because, trust me, trying to get past a front loader set up in this corner here, quite annoying. You run into it all the time. I'm going to keep it white front loader I'm going to have the same one as I have in the Massey I'm going to have the Isaria Pro Compact on here just for field work I'll put GPS on it and there we go 191,000 done What's on sale? Nah, I don't want that one. So, I have a small tractor, a medium tractor, and a large tractor. This is my wire tractor. This is my just general use tractor. And this is a general use tractor. But this, this one's a fast one, so... This will be having my trailer put to it, etc. Running backwards and forwards with grain and stuff. That's basically all they use for in England. Um, just want to have a look. See, I love this, but I'm not going to be able to use it. So this is what I'd normally use, and it puts it into rows. But yeah, so we're all good with that. So that field's ready to go. I need a baler. Now, so I'll go with one of these again. These only do round bales, I think. There's an awful lot of round balers on this game. God, that's a tiny one. 125 so 150 centimeter bail that's usually around 5500 liters so that's going to be a small bail That's a round bale, that's a round bale. Another round bale. And another one. I don't want you. Uh, It looks funky like that. I don't know. I don't agree with that. I K 
case. Now that looks right. Buy that. Now I needed a wind rower, if I was right. If I could remember right. That's what I asked for. That's 150,000. Working with 12 meters. 150 horses. Now, I want to use one of these DLC ones. So, we've got 500,000 left. Like that. There you go. So there you go. Oh. Let me just bring that forward a bit. There you go. So I've got my new tractor with the spotties on the side and looking nice. Got my baler. Still got my seeds here. And I've got this wind rower. Now, there is a mod out there that configures these so you get just the crop seed you want, but you'd have to let me know if you want me to go that realistic with what we've got in this, in this season. Miles off. Still miles off. Right. So cute. There you go. Now. Pig farm, that's what I need. Get him drive. Why? Okay. While I think about it, I want to have a look, see what's going on here. Shop collection point, okay, there is one for that. I think this driver needs to calm down a bit. Gives me a chance to actually have a look, see what's going on, see if I need to move any triggers. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave comments, things you want me to do. I am trying my hardest just to use everything giant software so DLCs, the mods in the mod hub that's it there is a couple of buildings I have put in the game I haven't used them yet so yeah I'm just trying to keep it all 
Let's do that sort of stuff. Keep it nice and fresh. Use different stuff. And going from there. So yeah, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it if you'd like the videos, comment, etc. I might not reply straight away, but when I read the comments, when I come on YouTube every day to have a look, I'll comment back, etc. So yeah, goodbye for now.